Okay, so positive constant A, positive constant, uh, between these two equals zero. Show that I've got to do that. So I've got to basically solve this, get an equation in A. So I need to integrate that, but I can't integrate it quite immediately, so I need to change it so I can integrate it nicely. And this means 2x cubed over x squared, so that'll be 2x, minus 5, that'll be minus just 5, because x squared over x squared, nothing, and then plus 4 over x squared, which is plus 4x to the minus 2 dx, and that's between a and 2a equals 0. Now I can actually integrate it to 2x, that's obviously x squared, minus 5x, and then it's going to be x integrating to the power increases, so that would be minus 1, and I've got to get minus, it's got to get plus 4, so that's going to be minus 4, like so, and that's between 2a and a, that equals 0. Chuck in 2a, which gives me 2a squared minus 5 times 2a, minus that means 4 over x so when a is when x is 2a that'll be 4 over 2a and i'll take away and now put in a and it's taking away all of this to put brackets so it'll be a squared minus 5a minus 4 over a and that equals zero what if i all out so 4a squared minus 10a minus 2 over a minus a squared minus minus plus 5a minus minus so it's plus 4 over a that equals 0 I've got 3a squared I've got minus 10a plus 5a is minus minus 5a uh, minus 2 over a plus 4 over a so that'd be over a minus 2 plus 4 will be plus 2 over a that equals 0 times 3 by a 3 a cubed minus 5 a squared plus 2 equals 0 and that's what they wanted I've got those six marks now I've got to do part 2 and show that a equals 1 is a root so I just need to put in a equals 1 into that expression and that will give me 3 times 1 cubed is 3 minus 5 times 1 squared is 1 plus 2 equals 0 therefore a equals 1 is a root and therefore a minus 1 is a factor and I think I'll need that for the next bit I'll show you the root, hence find the other possible value of a, value of a, giving you answer in simplified third form. That probably says that I'm not going to be able to um, factorise it. So I want to find the other thing. So I like doing it like this in a sort of a grid method. So I've got to find the other factors of this. So it's going to be, it's a, cube, it's a cubic, so therefore I'm going to have to have this bit here needs to be 3a cubed. So I'm going to have 3a squared there, because 3a squared times by this a gives me 3a cubed. Unfortunately, that also gives me minus 3a squared, and I want to have minus 5a squared, so I need another minus 2a squared. To do that, I have to times the a by minus 2a, but that's unfortunately minus times minus is positive, so that'll give me plus 2a, and I don't want to have plus 2a, I want to have no 2a's, so I've got to take away 2a here. And that's unfortunately going to give on, uh, so it's, I need that to be minus 2 times a gives me minus 2a. That's good, and minus 2 times minus 1 gives me plus 2, and that's what I wanted. So now I've got my things. So I've now got 3a cubed minus 5a squared plus 2 equals 0. Um, and I've got, that comes down to uh, a minus 1 times by 3a squared minus 2a minus 2 equals 0. So either a minus 1 equals 0, which is a equals 1, we know it already, or 
3a squared minus 2a minus 2 equals 0. And that's going to be, I don't like uh, completing the square because I've got 3 in front of it here. Won't factorise, I know that because it's a simplified third form. So I'm going to put a, b, c, a equals 3, b equals negative 2, c equals negative 2 as well. And therefore a equals minus b, which is 2, plus or minus the square root of b squared. That's negative 2 times negative 2 is 4, minus 4 times a is 3, times c is negative 2, all over 2a, which is 6. So a equals 2, plus or minus uh, 4, take away, well it's my plus isn't it, because the minus times the minus is plus, 3 times 2 is 6, times 4 is 24, 4 plus 24 is 28, so that's root 28 over 6, which equals 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 times 7, all over uh, 6, so a equals uh, 2 plus or minus, that would be the square root of 4 times the square root of 7, so the square root of 4 is 2, 2 root 7 over 6, which equals, divide off by 2, which is 1 plus root 7, or plus or minus root 7, over 3. It says in simplified form, but A is positive, uh, so A is positive, therefore A equals 1 plus root 7, over 3. Uh, not 1 minus root 7 over 3 because that's negative. And it gave you a tiny clue here, one, the other possible value of a, not two values. Have to be careful, uh, but that's question 9 and the whole paper done.